Whenever I've got time to bake a cake, I spend ages looking through recipe books to see what I could make. There's so many recipes and so little time. And yet every recipe book I've ever read has a flaw. They're missing one crucial ingredient. And it doesn't matter much to us now, but if humans ever wanted to bake a cake on the moon or Mars, these recipe books would have to be rewritten and that missing ingredient would have to be added back in. The first thing any baker does is weigh out their ingredients. And this is where the problem for space-based humans starts because having sugar by itself and some scales doesn't do you any good. What you need is sugar plus one planet. And unless you have both of them, your scales are pretty useless. We learn at school that we're constantly pulled down by Earth's gravity, and that's why things fall. But gravity is fairer than that. We can see that the flower is being pulled down towards the Earth, but it's also the case that the Earth is being pulled up towards the flower. Any two objects with mass will attract each other, pulling towards each other. So all the scales are doing is them sitting in between the flower and the planet and they're measuring how squashed they are because of the gravitational attraction. That is the only thing that scales do. But because the scales are calibrated for us on Earth, you can work backwards from that squash to work out how much flower there is. And it only works because we've got a planet down below us. So the Earth isn't anything special in this regard, but it is useful because it's enormous. So whenever you pick something up, you're resisting the gravitational pull of an entire planet, a rocky sphere 13,000 kilometers across. So that's great when you're on Earth, but an astronaut baker has a problem because that's a lot of planet to lug around just so you can weigh out your ingredients. The good news is you don't need your planet to be Earth, but you do need a lump of rock that's planet-ish sized. So the moon would do, or Mars would do, but you would have to adjust your scales first. All of this has a surprising consequence. We think of kitchen scales as being good for measuring out small things, a little bit of flour, a little bit of butter. But the logic says that if kitchen scales plus a planet can be used to find the mass of flour, then kitchen scales plus some flour can be used to find the mass of a planet. And that means that if you took these same kitchen scales to Mercury or Mars, you will be able to find the mass of that planet if you took a little bit of flour from Earth with you. You'd need a little bit of extra information, which is the radius of the planet you're on compared with the radius of Earth. But with that, these kitchen scales could absolutely be used to find the mass of an entire planet. Never underestimate kitchen equipment. Now there is a solution to this problem of needing a planet to make a cake, but you won't find it in any of my British recipe books. In American recipe books, when they describe the ingredients you need to measure out, they do it by using volume and using cup measures. And if you do that, you don't need a planet to get the right amount of each ingredient. Now the British have traditionally argued that cups are much less accurate because you've got to worry about how tightly packed your flour is, how much can you fit in a cup. But maybe the Americans know something we don't, and they are busy preparing for the upcoming cake-based space race.